Hello, my name is Joel LaBaba, and I'm the Franchise King. Today, I'd like to talk about a couple of different ways that you can buy a franchise. The first way is the way that you probably know. That is, search for a franchise that you feel is a fit for you, hopefully with some tips provided by... <clears throat> And go online and search a few of the franchise portals, franchise directories, select a couple, request free information, and, and go from there. Those are generally startup franchises. Now, don't freak out about the word startup. A startup franchise just means that you're starting a franchise in your local area that may not be there yet. Okay, so that's a startup. It's not a pure startup, but it's a startup franchise. There's another way that you can buy a franchise, and most people don't even really think about it. Unless, uh, uh, unless they run across it or unless their franchise sales representative mentions it. And that is, you can buy an existing franchise business, a business that is up and running already. Now, that sounds cool. You know, there's going to be revenue coming in. The cash register is already ringing. There are customers that know about the franchise business that's, that's in your local area. And it's a good way to get into business quickly. Now, I'm not saying that the research and the actual purchasing process is going to be quick, but once everything is done, once the sale agreement is signed, you can be in business really, really fast. Uh, it's, it's there already. Now, here's something that I learned when I took a one-day business broker course um, probably about eight years ago uh, with my friend Barney down in Columbus. We took it together. It was actually kind of cool. Here's what I learned, and, and it's something that that I guarantee you, you haven't thought of. You need to really be a good investigator when you're looking at purchasing an existing franchise business, heck, an existing business of any type. Think of yourself as an FBI agent. Think of yourself as someone who's going to really dig in and find out what's really happening with the business. Investigate why the business is for sale. I'm not talking the reason that might be given by the owner, which could be, well, you know, we want to retire and, and move down south to Naples, Florida, or, you know, our kids just, they have their own careers and they're really not into owning our business. They don't, they don't like it. Those may or may not be the true reasons, but there might be another reason that you don't know about. Dig in and find out. There could be something very, very suspicious. Now, I'm not saying that's generally going to happen, but sometimes the real reason isn't given for the, the business, the franchise business being for sale. So that is today's franchise tip. Look at an existing business in addition to a startup business, all right? It's, a, it's an interesting way to go. And as I said, there's already money coming in the second you open the door. And it's money that could be kind of predictable, all right? The income is, is pretty predictable because you're going to have the owner's books. Thanks for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBava.